Hello guys, Glenny Day Lifestyle presents Renovation Jamaica. What's going on at the villa? So guys, I know it's been a while, a couple of weeks now, maybe even a month, but wow, how time has really flown by. Um, but I do have some significant updates to share with you guys on the villa. Are you ready? Are you set? Let's go. Welcome back, guys. Again, it it has been a minute, but the villa is coming along, y'all, step by step, wall by wall, room by room. So I guess the big question is, all of these nice pics, right? These are some pictures that I actually took uh, when I was in Jamaica. Uh, there's only one of them that I didn't take, um, and I think there's some really nice pictures Jamaica is such a beautiful place, and I, I wanted to share some of these pics with you guys um, to kick things off today. Um, so let's dive right in. What's been happening? So the last time I spoke to you, it was really around that wall, right? Because I had to put up that retaining wall at the villa. Well, guys, that wall is finished. If you have not seen these videos, means you're not watching. I need you to go back and look at those videos. If you are liking and enjoying the content from my channel, guys, it is so important that you smash that thumbs up. You know, let me know that you're really enjoying the content. Leave comments, like, share, and subscribe. All right. So um, the wall, go back and watch those videos and play catch up on the journey. We don't want you to miss a thing. So the wall is ready for paint and the painters are literally on the property. They've been staying there because they have to do the interior and the exterior of the property. And then they're going to make their way down the hill to the wall. Um, so they've been living right there at the villa so they can get this work done as quickly as possible. So I am very excited about uh, seeing this thing come to fruition. And, you know, here is a wall. Voila. There you go. This is what the wall now sort of looks like um, coming up the hill. And there are now lights uh, on the columns. Here is a better image of it, a better picture of it. Uh, it. It has more of a grand look now when you're driving up the hill. You see these two lights uh, that are beaming down and sort of guiding the way through the gate there. Um, and uh, it looks really sophisticated to me when I see it like this. Uh, the, the, the electrician did send a few options around like what the best lighting was. Uh, and this these are not the initial lights that I loved. But when he explained to me that when you're picking those lights and you're choosing anything to go uh, around the the uh, outer part of the villa outside, you have to make sure that it's weather resistant and that it can withstand the daily salt from the sea, right? That sea salt is just really hard on products. And so you have to make sure that, you know, the pretty, pretty product and the thing that glitters the most is not always the best thing to get when you're living around the sea like that. And so uh, he advised these and, you know, we, we sort of went with this recommendation. Um, and I, I think they look pretty nice, actually. So, so, so not bad. Uh, I'm definitely learning to listen because you don't want to be spending money every six months to replace something because it's taken on, uh, can't take the withstand you know, the battering of the, of the sea air. And, uh, so there you go. So we ended up with these and here's a better view of them as well. Uh, with the gate closed, completely closed. Wow. Doesn't that look nice? Lovely, huh? Um, it, it this gate also is a old gate. And I imagine that at some point I'm going to replace it with something more modern. Um, maybe something similar to like what you see right here. Cause to me, this is just really, really lovely. Uh, I would love to have a gate that does, you know, it's thing where it actually slides to the left or slides to the right. Um, it's electronic and it's, you know, vertical versus that big old gate that swings open and, you know, everybody has to get out of the way. Uh, this is, this is, I think much better. Um, here are some lights. I went just, you know, window shopping this weekend. And here were some lights that I saw that I would love to see on the columns. Again, uh, I like this real simple one in the middle. I think it looks really clean and elegant, but I would have to make sure again, that it can withstand all of the, the pressure from the sea salt. 
Okay guys, so here are the, the options that I have for the lighting on the columns. There's a lot of them, and some of them are made so they can be mounted right on top of the column, which gives me a lot more options than just the round bulbs that they put on for the time being. Okay. A lot to think about. So let's talk about the paint, guys. Nothing beats a fresh coat of paint. I know that, and I'm sure you guys know that too. So let's dive right in. So look at the new white walls in the villa. Um, we'll talk about that yellow contraption in just a few minutes. But look at the white walls, guys. Everything is going to be white, white on white on white. Remember I said that one? Oh, look at the peak, peekaboo. Uh, I see you. That's the water. Uh, looks so beautiful out there. Um, but let me just play this again for you guys because I really want you guys to see. Um, I want you to see this up close and personal that this is, uh, I want you to see these AC units, right? Uh, there it is, that yellow thing. That is an old AC unit that's going to be replaced with something more modern and something more uh, energy efficient. These things have probably been up there a good 10 years or more, and it's it's time. So going to definitely have to replace those. Um, and, you know, it, it's just necessary, right? You, you have to do what you have to do. Uh, so guys, and, and now more white paint on the outside. This is going down the corridor near that, that large bedroom and this is the quarter going all the way out back right and so they've gotten a lot done you can see a lot of the painting has already been done and they are continuing to to work on it um, over the next few weeks there's another peekaboo of the water I love to see that it's just so stunning to me um, every time I see that it takes my breath away and it makes me realize okay you, you're not crazy you, you, you actually did make a good investment um, and these are the new stairs right stair rails all those old ones were broken down and raggedy and rotten and uh, the carpenter came and he replaced all of those um, old stairs and so you can see it looks really nice now right much better than the previous um, this is the jerk hut guys I don't know if I showed you guys this before but this is the jerk hut and this thing was tore up from the floor I'm just gonna be honest with you I was so tore up I didn't even want to show you guys this thing but you know they've been able to do such an amazing job um, you know it it, it the, the whole top was nothing but old zinc you know that old zinc and it was in horrible condition the lower part is concrete so that was fine but the roofing was damaged the coconuts had fallen all over it was just a hot mess and I'm happy to report that in a few minutes you'll see the big difference um, so the roofing has been replaced and these what are these black tanks out back these are the water catchment a lot of people in Jamaica have these and they have them because if the water should ever run out or if there's a water shortage there's always the catchments to make sure that you have fresh good water and uh, the stuff you can still bathe in and do everything you need to do in it runs through the pipeline and goes right into the house so you're always good to go um, and here is a remodel a bit of a remodel model of the jerk hut look at that zinc roof now this zinc is a new zinc um, and it has those scalloped uh, I love that scallop look so scallop zinc which I never knew existed but this is really really nice so you can imagine having out your fresh fish your fresh lobster uh, your jerk chicken your jerk pork and then you have the little lights put the little lights around the edges of the rooftop and uh, it's like Christmas all year round so really really beautiful loving that look and guys here is uh, uh, I want you to see the villa in its current state um, you know they've done some of the white painting the blue area under the veranda is going to be replaced that's going to be gone the pink that you see there is also going to be gone all the pink and blue will all be painted white um, uh, well the the pink will be painted white let me back up a little bit the blue is going to take on a look of a contemporary gray which is right here they've sent me a swath of something that they've already painted and um, I'm gonna be glad to get rid of that blue I'm sure it was quite nice and some time ago but now it's it's not so 
uh, changing that to the gray. And here is some actual video footage of the painters. Uh, they are really moving along swiftly here. They've done the outside. They've, I'm sorry, they've done the interior. Now they're, they're working on the exterior and they're really killing it, moving along very swiftly. All right. So this is another shot of uh, the villa. Again, all of that blue and all that pink trim, all that stuff is going to be gone. It's going to be white. And then the stairs are going to be painted a light golden brown. Um, and I, I think it's going to look uh, lovely. I think it's going to be very eye catching and have some nice curb appeal, which is always uh, very important when you are, you know, when you driving up to your your new vacation home, you really want to see something beautiful when you arrive, right? It sort of sets the tone for your excursion, your getaway, your downtime. And this is a backyard, a lot of backyard, a lot of backyard. I can just see putting out some nice um, pergolas out there or um, some nice uh, cabanas, uh, you know, some nice picnic tables. I don't know, something, uh, you know, to, to just beautify that backyard space and make good use of it and have it, you know, as a chill zone, you know, people can come out there and practice yoga when they're taking their vacay and just, you know, have a lot of mental clarity and things like that going on around there. So um, just, uh, just, a lot of loads of potential here for the backyard. Um, here is another picture. Uh, this is completely done now. The railings have also been painted and this is the actual color that the railings will be all around the villa. And this is what it looks like. This is what that gray looks like. The gray does look a little bit dark right now, but it was because the picture was taken at sundown. But um, this, it, it actually is a light ash gray. So it keeps it airy and light and refreshing. So guys, it's been a lot of work so far and there's yet much more to go. Um, but I am enjoying the journey and as much as challenging, challenging as it is. And I, I mean, guys, I just have to tell you, the journey is never as easy as you think it will be. Uh, you're going to face trials. You're going to face challenges. Uh, but I just, you know, want to just say stick with it, right? No matter what, just remember why you started, right? <laughs> if you can remember why you started, you, you will have a better chance of, you know, blocking out all of the obstacles and just sticking with it. I promise you, whatever your dream is, just go for it. You know, if you're, you're going to face a challenge. That's just the bottom line. And it wouldn't be fun without, if it was no challenges, I guess it wouldn't be a lot of fun. So here we go. Um, I final words, final quote of the week here, uh, one step at a time, you'll get there just like I'm going to get there one step at a time. So I hope that, you know, gives you some inspiration for the week, you know, um, just, you know, stay strong and keep believing in your dream and it will come to pass. That's my word for the week and I'm sticking with it. So guys, um, have a great week. Uh, remember to like, thumbs up, press that thumbs up, share and subscribe and ring the notification bell guys. Ring the notification bell uh, so that you will know every single time I drop a new video. Uh, stay, thanks so much for uh, you know tuning in with me and staying with me on this journey. And uh, the best is yet to come, guys. So stay tuned. Bye for now.